Hey guys, welcome to another video. Now today I'm going to be talking about two indicators that are pretty commonly used in cryptocurrency and other markets. Now pretty much I'm not going to be telling you guys the full technical mathematics to these indicators. I do not find that very important and or interesting. I am just going to be telling you guys how to get uh, different buy and sell signals from these indicators and just sort of how to use them in trading and not so much getting into specifics of how they actually work. But anyways, let's get right into the video. So first off, we see here I am on an altcoin. I am on SALT. Um, of course, you can also do this on USD pairs. This works well in pretty much all markets, uh, all cryptocurrencies, anything you would like pretty much. But I do find it works a lot better on longer term periods as those can as these indicators can predict larger moves on longer term periods. Now, I have two indicators I'm going to be looking at today. Uh, this top one is called Arun, A-R-O-O-N, and this bottom one is called Stock RSI. Now, these indicators are both available on TradingView, so if you guys don't know what TradingView is, I recommend you guys make an account there. Anyways, um, so the first one we can see here is a rune, and you see these two lines, you see the blue line and the orange line, and what these indicate is when you see this orange line here um, cross the blue line, that determining an uptrend or a buy signal. So pretty much I'm just gonna go ahead and mark some examples of where buy signals would be here. So as you see right here, this is where it crosses, so we would see a buy signal right there. Then we would see another buy signal right here. Then we also see another buy signal right here, uh, right where this uh, you know orange line crosses once again. And, uh, and then finally, uh, we see some other ones back here. Um, but you know, this works really well, uh, more specifically, on longer term trends. So for example, if you look here, here are just the buy signals, not including the sell signals. So this is just whenever the orange line crosses up, um, then that indicates a buy signal. So for example, here we would have seen uh, all of these buys, which of course is pretty pretty good uh, buy signals, considering that you know it really holds once it gets on that uptrend which you know I think is a very good thing for indicators and uh, specifically on Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, this works very well for that too. Now next I will show you guys the sell signals of this script so this is just when the blue line uh, crosses up this indicates a bear trend market meaning that it will go down so first off we see a sell right here uh, our next sell signal would be right about here Next one would be here. And finally, our most recent one would be right there. So as you can see here, uh, for these smaller moves, it doesn't work as well. Uh, but definitely for these larger moves, if you're expecting a breakout, I think this can definitely help you determine when uh, you want to sell that coin or where, when it might start to go down. Uh, especially on longer periods, uh, like for example on one hour or two hours, this can be very, very useful for determining those long trends. And so next I will show you guys Stock RSI, which is even better for determining short-term trends. Now Stock RSI is a faster version of RSI, and if you guys don't know what RSI is, that pretty much determines when a certain cryptocurrency is oversold or overbought. Stock RSI can give you a faster version of that. Now here are some examples, so as you can see here, this is stock RSI, I have changed my colors, but it doesn't really matter too much what your colors are. Now what stock RSI can tell you is when the smaller uh, fluctuations are going to happen. Now this is not accurate for long term trends, as whenever a long term trend does happen, it does get sort of messy, and I can show you guys a few examples of that. If we see here on the market. Um, so st when it gives a buy signal is when uh, this blue line here crosses the green line at the bottom. Uh, then this pretty much means that it's going to start an uptrend, and this can be give you know very good buy signals, especially for uh, you know smaller moves, but uh, big moves too. It can give some decent buy signals. 
Um, but where it does get messy is on the sell signals, because as you can see here, you would have sold right here, right whenever the blue crosses again, you would have bought back right there, sold, um, you know, bought back, and then sold once again. So I would recommend, you know, not using this for big moves, but more small moves. And so I'll give an example of that right here. As you guys can see here, here we are uh, at the top of the pump. This can be a very volatile time, so this might be when you use it, or just when the market's going sideways. And so what you would have got here is you would have gotten a buy signal right about here. So I'll go ahead and mark that. And then you would have seen a sell signal. So this is whenever it starts to cross down uh, right about here which you can see is pretty good because right after that it does start a bear trend on the market and then we see one more buy signal uh, right here and then you would have caught this entire pump because you buy it right on the candle before it and then the sell signal was right so as you can see this does give some pretty decent signals when it comes to you know smaller movements in the market especially here you can see you know, you would have bought right about here, right before this pump happens. You would have gotten this entire move, and then you would have sold, you know, right at the top right here. So, you know, RSI can be very, very useful for smaller movements in the market, and along with a rune, which can give some better long-term trends, you know, you can make some really good trades, and specifically how I would use these in combination, although you can use these alone, but how you can use these in combination is pretty much once you see the Arun go uh, into an uptrend mode, so for example, right here, whenever it crossed, you know it's gonna be an uptrend. You can pretty much enter in right there, make sure your stock RSI is good, and then as the stock RSI goes to a sell signal, you can sort of buy and sell as it's on an uptrend, and then finally, once you see the Arun cross down, you know it's gonna go on a downtrend. That is where you can sell. So you can use these two indicators as a great combination in order to day trade and and, uh, you know, just for general technical analysis in the market and making some smarter decisions in the future. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope, I hope this helps you guys out in uh, trading and just generally getting your technical analysis to the next level. Uh, I will be making more videos like this, and thanks for watching.